Hey guys, Joshua Bainsek, and I've got Zuperware. It's a Zuper Pro widget made by John Burke. Check him out on Google Plus. Add him to your circles. He's brand new into developing this new app, and it's it's basically a widget that looks like the new Android Wear, something that we're going to see with the Moto 360. So this video, we're going to set it up, get it all going, and let you see what it looks like. So I recommend watching this video in full length, and then go back and kind of follow along as we set this up so that way you get familiar with it and then also you just know the steps and it just makes it a little bit more easier that way. Or another recommendation is to watch this video on your computer or tablet or some other kind of viewing device and follow along with this tutorial as you are installing this. Once you have Zuperware installed, scroll down, you're going to see description area and you're going to see requirements and also setup. First we're going to go to requirements. You're going to want to download Zuper Pro. Once you have that installed, you can go back to John's app, go back to the description. You're also going to want to download Tasker Pro. And once you get that installed, just hit back and go back to John's app once again. Back to the description. And the other app that you'll need to get going is to use a file explorer app such as ES, which is actually a really good one. And I already have all these installed, but once you get all that set up, go on back to the description and then we're ready for the setup. Alright, so the first step if you haven't already, go ahead and install Zuper Pro. You can either do that through the Google Play Store, through Open, or go to the app itself in your app drawer. The next step is that you want to install Tasker Pro and also enable it. And we'll do that by going to Settings and Accessibility Services. So go ahead and go on down to Settings and Accessibility. Scroll on down and here is Tasker. And we'll want to turn it on and hit OK, hit OK, and you can back out of there. Let's go on back to John's app in the Play Store. Next is install Zuperware, and step number four, download these Tasker settings. So we're gonna click this link. I like to always do Chrome hit download. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so once it's downloaded, go to your downloads folder, look at the file, and select it. Select Viewer, go to the Tasker. You're gonna extract all these files. Hit extract, hit OK, then back up and find the new folder, which is right here. Then go in the folder. Then you'll want to select all of these. Hit copy and back on out. All the way to your SD card. Go down to Tasker, then paste this in. And everything should be moved over by now. All right, so at this point, all the Tasker files from John should be in the Tasker folder. So at this point, let's go to Tasker. It's already been enabled into settings. We just gotta to go to the app itself. Once you're in Tasker, you're gonna to want to go to menu, data, hit restore, hit okay. And at this point, it loads up all of John's stuff. So the next step is to go into each thing here and hit the play button. So for each one, you're actually going to want to go into these and hit play. So just go down these, and I'm going to do a few, and I'll be right back with you. So go ahead and go down the list and just hit play for all of these. All right, so just real quickly, I'm going to run down the list of what these are, these abbreviations. And SMS is your texting, HO is Hangouts, Facebook. Facebook Messenger, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, BBIM, Weather, Google Voice, Calendar, Gmail, FS is for Foursquare, IG Instagram, PS is for Play Store, SK Skype, SC for Snapchat, TW for Twitter, VI for Vine. So just go into all of these and hit the play button. Once you have all these loaded, it's going to be active for listening, and the next step is to actually load the widget itself. So find yourself an empty spot on the screen, go to your widgets, and you're going to need to install a 4x4 Zuper widget. Now I have my Nova launcher set up for a different grid, so I can resize this when I want to. But I'm just going to tap to start. Here's Zuperware here. And there's actually a few different ones to choose from. 
This one is the light version and it's kind of a cleaner look. And then you have this other edition which has pretty much all the apps that we just turned on. And then there's a dark version. Now stay tuned for updates from John. He's going to add more widgets here, more customization options. Okay, so the difference between this one here is when notifications come on, they'll appear on this guy. But if you want the icons to always be there, you will have this one and like a red dot will show up with the notification count. So I'm going to go with this one here and I'm going to fix the circle. Go to the gray background, scroll down. You're going to want to go to width and height. And I think the height that I like is going to be 415. You can go down here to the height and do the same thing. And that should do that. So you're going to want to hit back one more time. Just go ahead and back out all the way and the widget will appear. And if you're like me, you're going to have to resize this thing to make it fit right. And you can see here that it actually changes the size altogether if you like it. So I'm going to expand this to the biggest size just for demonstration purposes. And something to consider about Zuper widgets is that Anywhere that you touch it is going to be basically some kind of action. For instance, we have Twitter that should launch. Just hit back and you see that Twitter is no longer there. And just go through each one of these to get rid of those notifications. And while you're at it, go ahead and follow me on the social networks. Now if you don't have these apps installed, it's not going to launch anything. So I'll show you what to do with that once that comes up. Alright, so I don't have Skype or Snapchat installed, so this is how you're going to fix that problem. Is that I don't, as you see, I tapped in the white area, and so this is going to be how you're going to delete stuff that you don't want. You just scroll on down here. Like, I don't have WhatsApp. I can delete it. You can go ahead and just check off all the ones that I don't want. Go ahead and hit your back button. So you're going to have the persistent Gmail and calendar stuff sitting there as well as your weather and what the weather looks like if it's sunny, cloudy, and so forth. And if you noticed here that because I did some resizing, I'm going to have to move the Gmail and calendar stuff around. So in order to do that, you're going to go to layout and find the stuff that you need to be moved like the Gmail icon. And you do that by doing the offsets. And you can see you can move it up and down or move it left to right. So you can basically just customize this even more, move it around where you want it, make it as clean as you want. And that pretty much does it for this new Zuperware widget. It's pretty cool stuff. It's development in progress. So definitely stay tuned to John's stuff. He's gonna be updating this as he goes. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below, and I'll be happy to help you as much as I can. John is more than willing to help out as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, and please subscribe so you can see more videos like this.